Um, hi, so my name is Nicole. Um, I am 20. This is my dog, Loki. I've never really done this before, obviously, since this is my first video. And where my fitness journey began. Um, so I started my junior year of high school, so like five years ago. I'm a junior in college now. Um, and I signed up at LA Fitness with my parents. And I we just do cardio for the most part and do hundreds of sit-ups. And I would use these like fed diets that I found on Tumblr. And they, it was just like, it was pretty much an eating disorder, but like I wasn't recognizing that at the time. I thought it was totally fine to be eating only three, two hundred calories a day and then fasting some days and only eating apples some days, just like things that didn't, that clearly aren't healthy and I know that now, but then I didn't. I would go every day as soon as I got home and do 30 minutes on the treadmill and then 30 minutes on the elliptical and just be a cardio bunny, pretty much. Um, then I would do some machines, like just some ab machines and like 500 crunches a day, which clearly didn't do anything. And my senior year, I still did that for the most part. And when prom would come around, I would get super, super skinny and like be sickly skinny. You can see the pictures on my Instagram. Um, then my going into my um, freshman year of college, my I started dating my boyfriend. who I've been dating for two years, and he had been lifting for a long time. So um, he got me into lifting, but my diet still wasn't there so um i i did shreds my freshman year of college um when i transferred to um the school that i'm at now um and i really didn't like i wasn't eating my diet wasn't there so i can't really say that it wasn't working but um the fat burner didn't like decrease my appetite like some do um it wasn't i wasn't like sweating more or anything and like i wasn't having more intense workouts because of it and I felt like I was bloating a lot from the, um, like, from the protein powder that I was using and from the other supplements. I can't remember which stack that I used, but I wasn't using it correctly. Um, so I started lifting and my diet still wasn't there, though, so I was eating way too much. Um, and then my s sophomore year, I found Kayla It Signs, It Seems, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, her bikini body guide and I stuck to it for a while I did it like one and a half times but I got like super skinny and I got too, I felt like I was getting weak and it just didn't work for me and I know you're supposed to be strong like you're supposed to be building all this muscle but I was just getting super tiny and I'm only 5'2 and I, I never really weighed more than like I think my the most I ever weighed was like 140 when I was younger probably middle school like puberty age but um when I did Kayla It Signs guide, I got too small, so I went back to lifting. Um, and then last summer, um, I bought um, Katie Hearn's Spring Promo, and that kind of like sp like gave me more knowledge. It told me like I had been looking into macros before that, um, and it kind of like gave me more guidance to counting macros. And gave me more insight and more information and gave me some really good exercise ideas. And then I did her summer challenge because I was so excited about her swing. And I'm really glad I did the summer challenge because it has even more workouts. And she was amazing to work with. She was a great trainer. She helped me with literally everything. Uh, I would email her all the time. And she was super cool and so motivational. But I'm um, doing her challenge. Well, I'm a college student, so obviously I can't afford to do them all. And I decided to start making my own challenges. Well, not really challenges, workout guides for myself. And for some friends. And my boyfriend. And I am working on my certified personal trainer certification. Um, through um, NASM, the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Which I'm kind of slacking on. I'm going to feel really bad about. But I'm going to catch up this weekend. So yeah, that's pretty much my fitness journey. I will put my Instagram in the description and I will put my Tumblr there too because I get a lot of questions about how I count macros and um, how I started and you can email me if you want, I'll put my email in there too. Um, and I really hope that's my, about me.